create a ledger called rent. Create a ledger called rent under indirect expenses. And then we create a ledger named Cricket. Cricket rent under yes it is already created oh prepaid rent is already there this is prepaid rent prepaid rent under current assets Now we go to journal mode. So, journal mode. Accounting voucher. Journal mode. F7. And we select rent. We select prepaid rent. Prepaid rent first. Suppose we have tender amount. 1200 rand we make it CR and then we select cash we select here cash and how can we bring cash here we have to select cash here by pressing F by configuring F12 configure skip date dear CR yes we have to make this yes allow cash accounts in chart we make this yes because if it is no then we cannot select cash if it is no then we will not be able to select cash see we cannot select cash from it because we have to configure this by going into configuration or pressing f12 press f12 and then we make it yes And now we select cash. Suppose we give twelve hundred real. Now, if we want to adjust, if we want to adjust our rent for the next month, then we go to journal mode. It is already journal mode. In journal mode, we select rent. Select rent, then we suppose we pay 800 rupees this month. Now we select repeat, repeat rent. See, it is there 400 is left in our balance, and we have paid 800. So we can pay from our prepaid. This was all about rent. Now if you receive rent in advance, then it's left to make a ledger. Make a ledger. Rent. One. Because rent is already made. Now it's left indirect income. Indirect income. Not acceptable. And now we make another ledger rent in advance. advance. Under current liabilities. Current liability. Rent in advance. It is our. liability rent in advance now we open accounting voucher and we select rent in advance we select general mode we select cash 
Suppose we select cash again twelve hundred. Rent in advance. So we have made this journal, and now if we pay our rent, and now we select rent one. Now we have to select this rent one because it is now indirect income. Okay, if we receive rent. This rent, so it is income. It is income, and the rent in advance. The rent in advance. Six hundred. If we Select this as 400, then it is 1000. So we, we can have to select now rent one. Rent one. So this was all about our rent in advance and rent receipt in advance. Here, I, the owner of the company, is receiving rent in advance. So it is my indirect income. And when I pay the rent in advance, then it is my indirect expense. So this was the major difference between rent paid in advance and rent received in advance.